there, there was a period of time where Adam hadn't been feeling quite right, and at, uh, a little before his second birthday, we just thought it was something normal for that time period, so took him into the doctor. They diagnosed some type of viral issue. Later that day, got the call directly from the doctor indicating that it, in fact, was type 1 diabetes. We ended up staying in the hospital for four days, and I think I pretty much just held him all night long. So when you're diagnosed at 23 months, that is many, many years to live with diabetes. And the, the scary part is, no matter how hard we control, or how well we control his diabetes, we cannot stop complications. Well, it's no fun at all. I don't like getting the shots. Sometimes it hurts, sometimes it doesn't. If he's got a good reading, we don't have to do anything, but if he's got a low reading, we have to give him food. If he's got a high reading, we've got to give him insulin. I'm starting my first year of football with pads on this year. And um, I don't like it when I have to sit out for like 10 or 20 minutes and do finger pokes. If he wants to play and then feels low, he can't, so he has to go do a check. And then he might have to eat something and do a bolus. It does make me sad. Our, our fears for Adam as he grows up, is, uh, the immediate fears is that this disease can have sudden complications. No matter how well we might help him or he takes care of himself, that there can be issues that are, are troublesome for, for he and our family. Right now, we get up twice a night with him. Uh, my husband and I take turns. Usually, we do a blood sugar check around midnight, um, and we do another one around 2 a.m. And depending on how his blood sugars are running as to whether we need to get up again with him or not. Well, at night when I do my checks, I usually just sleep right through it. Since Adam's been diagnosed, we have had many people uh, believe that Adam will eventually grow out of this um, or that it will eventually go away. That is not true. Adam cannot grow out of it. His body will never produce insulin. So um, until there is a cure found, Adam will have diabetes. I think back uh, a years ago after Adam was diagnosed, uh, he said, Dad, why did God give me diabetes? I did say, you know what, Adam? God probably chose you for diabetes because number one, he knew you were strong enough to handle it. He knew two, two that you had a family and a, and a network of friends and extended family around you that would help you through this process. And finally, he maybe knew that you would be someone special that might help in the future um, to take care of diabetes and find a cure. The Sanford Project must be able to retain the most relevant and best talent in the world and be willing to have those people come here and live in the home base for this project in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. It is our privilege to announce that the Sanford Project is type 1 diabetes. So a number of years later when we learned of the Sanford Project announcement, it almost came full circle for us and we thought, you know, maybe, maybe his question, and, and it was something, a sign from God, that right here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, right where Adam lives, we ultimately might be the people that find the cure for diabetes, and Adam may be highly involved in that process. Every night when I end my prayers at night, I say, I pray, I hope Sanford finds a cure to diabetes.